Hi, and welcome to everyone listening or viewing this podcast, or shall I say, vodcast, webinar, or whatever the right name is. Uh, my name is Aram Hofsepian, and I will be the host. And aside from my daily job running a product company called Codific, I also fight cybercrime at night by being one of OWASP SAM core team members. OWASP SAM, which stands for Software Assurance Maturity Model, is uh, the industry standard framework that helps organizations assess their current security posture and improve in an iterative and risk driven manner. And in this podcast, we will focus on the assessment part of SAM. SAM assessment is in general, the process that eventually leads to determining the SAM score of team, organization, or whatever you pick as a scope. And once you know what your current security posture is, you can then go ahead and plan an improvement roadmap. Now, it turns out that doing the SAM assessments, uh, which gives an objective SAM score, is not that obvious. And that's why I have invited three AppSec veterans with thousands of hours of SAM assessment experience uh, to give their opinion, tips and tricks, best practices uh, in doing the perfect SAM assessment or, or a great SAM assessment uh, in order to start the improvement journey. Now, um, I would like to welcome Brian Glass, Maxim Bale, and Rob van der Weer. Um, thank you very much for joining this. Please introduce yourselves. Uh, and definitely try to mention why you love OWASP SAM. And I would do it alphabetically uh, by starting with Brian first. <laughs> Thanks, Aram. Uh, I'm Brian Glass. So I have been working in application security for, gosh, close to 18 years now or so, somewhere in that range. Uh, I've been working with OWASP SAM for almost a decade now. Um, been part of the core team, multiple versions. I've lost track of how many different SAM assessments I've conducted uh, from very large organizations to very small organizations. Um, SAM is amazing because it's one of the very few prescriptive models out there, especially related to secure software development. There are a few others like Microsoft SDL, which are interesting, but it's, it was essentially how Microsoft wrote Windows, the operating system. And so it kind of applies, but not near the same level of detail that Sam has. And so I enjoy walking people through Sam because it's essentially a training and learning experience when we go through it. Uh, before I forget, my day job is essentially I am an, a professor and chair of the computer science department at Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. So that's my day job, and I also work on a number of OWASP projects like OWASP SAM. Thanks, Brian. Maxim, you're next. So I'm uh, Maxim Bal. I'm a principal security consultant focusing on product security at Torion. Um, I actually have a background in Linux system engineering and automation, and I uh, rolled into SAM because I was looking for a way um, to help an organization where I was working at the time implement a security development lifecycle. And um, I think Brian already mentioned it. Uh, the great thing about SAM is that it's prescriptive. And at the time, I really, really needed like detailed advice on how to do this. Um, and for me, it was a huge learning experience using the framework, um, using that the company at the time, and then really making an impact. Um, and uh, it led eventually to me becoming a core team member a few years later. So I've been a core team member of SAM now for a little bit over three years, um, helping with Brian on the on the benchmark, um, helping with mappings to other standards, and um, yeah, helping to evolve the, the standard. Thanks, Maxim. Rob? Yes, thanks. So my name is Rob van der Veer, or Rob van der Veer. I work for a software improvement group uh, for 12 years now. We help clients to create good software, secure software, which means that we're measuring the quality of their software, but we're also helping them to shift left. And as you all may know, that can be a big change for a company where they need some guidance, and that's where we use uh, SAM for. 
Um, before I was with SNG, I was in the software industry as a programmer, as a CEO, as a data scientist, a hacker. So together with this consultancy uh, period at SNG, it's about 32 years of experience coming from the AI industry. And AI was really uncool back in the day, but now everybody's talking about it. So it's quite a busy period of my, uh, my professional life, uh, I have to say which involves also doing stuff for AI at OWASP, uh, meaning um, initiating the OWASP AI exchange, working together with the LLM top 10 and the uh, machine learning top 10, working with many organizations, ISO, IEC, Sensenelec, uh, from OWASP, which is great, working on AI security for the European AI Act, for example. It's really cool to be in the, in the middle of that. Uh, at OWASP, I also, uh, co-created uh, OpenCRE, uh, OpenCRE.org, which is uh, uh, sort of a, a platform that integrates all security standards into, into one resource, including uh, SAM, of course. Um, and regarding SAM, I'm not part of the, 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 the core team, but I really like to contribute. Um, a couple of years ago, I contributed the Agile guidance for SAM, which sort of takes away all the objections that um, um, people fond of Agile, and there's many of them, and I'm one of them, uh, sometimes have because they say, well, you talk about stages, but in Agile, we don't have stages, and we want to see this circle uh, in your diagrams. So mm -hmm. I helped explain that, yes, Sam perfectly fits into Agile, and this is this is how you do it. And since then, I've contributed contributing other things, like recently our experiences with uh, with doing assessments at clients. We we love to do that. We also love to teach clients uh, how to do it to some extent. And I uh, look forward to uh, yeah sharing our thoughts and experience uh, in this group today. To be awesome. fair, Rob, I think you can uh, be called an honorary member of the core team by now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say uh, that as well. You, you guys. are part of the core team. 